<laughs> Family thrift night. Here we go. Here's the rules. We're all going to go into Goodwill. 30 minute time limit. $20 max spend each before taxes. No phones, no digital devices, no looking up anything for comps. So then what? What else, guys? We got... We're going to measure the winner in two different ways. First, we'll, be, we'll take an average of comps. And whoever makes the most profit just based on an average comp will be number one winner. Number two winner will be actual profit made. What's a winner get? Uh, they get to keep their profits. Carter says the winner gets to keep profits. Ansley, what's the winner get? The profit. Ansley wants the profits too. So there it is. Let's go into Goodwill and make it happen. 30 minutes starts now. Where is it? <laughs> it, looks, it looks gross. <laughs> You're not putting that in my house. How are you going to sell that? Carter, the chair is $20. Carter beat me to the toy aisle. A popcorn popper? Wait, where? How much is it? How much do you think you can sell for? Like, at least. Is that a camera bag? I just found like really old Crayola cranes. Are there cranes in it? Yeah. That's weird. That is a vintage box, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. And the cranes. It might be worth a shot. Yeah, look. It's vintage. The cranes are in good shape. I don't know. I don't know. So it's probably like a dollar. Most stuff in the toy section is usually a dollar. Oh, Found a functional flashlight. school phone cases. They're all old. Hardball. It's 
all junk. I got nothing so far too, so don't sweat it. Hmm? for this thing. It might be a winner. Links this 10 gigabit. Yeah, it looks like it doesn't work. This busted scale. How about that? Is this a massage gun? No, it's a shaver. It's a shaver. You want to shave? You shave. Now, makes a switch. No cord. What the world is that? Ainsley special. Package together. What'd you find? That's old school. I don't know. What do you want for dinner? I'm looking for some plugs for my device. Tell us about your piece, Carter. I think it would sell for like 40 bucks. How much is uh, it? It's $15. I think it's, if you were to fix it and clean it. Fix it? So. Is it broken? Well, I'm, I'm just talking about the drawers. Put them back up. Show fall apart. All right, we're out of Goodwill. We're in the parking lot. Let's see what we got. Crazy. Nobody spent their full $20. We spent $21 total. We're gonna go back tomorrow to a different store. We're gonna try another one tomorrow to finish the balance. Let's see what we got. Look at Ainsley, what did you get? I got a tennis racket. A tennis racket? Let's see it. My thing's hanging right in the way. What's this you buy it for? Uh, it is. Well, she just had to work out of it. Tennis racket? We'll check these out when we get back in the light. It's like a racket ball. It's a gold racket, vintage got, racket ball racket. I got another thing. Leech is the brand in there. How much was that? It was probably a dollar. This was two. And a Jordan, a Jordan flight shirt, kid size. That's cool. Those kids Air large, Jordan youth large. Stuff, Jordan. Jordan stuff sells for a lot. Of long sleeve Jordan shirt. All right. It needs washed. It's gross. Yeah, but they sell for a lot. Of what Carter get? My truck. Daddy, a truck. Dad, Air Jordan stuff sells for a lot of money. I got this truck for two bucks. I think if you clean it, it'll sell for like. Little Tyke's truck still makes noises. A little over 10. Carter says a little over 10. How much was it? Two bucks. I think she only charged you a dollar for it. Really? I don't know what I'd do with the receipt. Is it in the bag? Uh, no. What else did Carter get? Nothing. And then I also took my chances oh. and bought a opened uh, print cartridge. This could be a score to see the box. It looked new and not used, so hopefully it isn't. HP 96A print cartridge. We got the box. It's still got a staple shipping label on it. Hold that up. The package, the, the plastic package is ripped, but the thing looks brand spanking new, so that might be a big win. How much was that? This was eight bucks. Eight bucks. Carter, if that sells for a lot of money, you're gonna win. I picked up four items. I grabbed a. Uh, Phase 10 card game. That was, what was that, a dollar or two dollars? Two bucks. Oh. Keep that for myself if I have to. 
I got a plug-in AC adapter for a Casio electronic calculator. This is classic old school stuff. You don't even have that. Uh, this is gonna, somebody out there has an old Casio electronic calculator that's yeah. gonna pay $20 for this thing. Uh huh. $10 for that. $2 for a Linksys wireless in router. Mm -hmm. No plug. I was, I did find a plug that was enough to make sure it powered on. Powered on. I'll test it when we get home, reset it, and that might be a, that might be a good win. Two bucks might turn into, I don't know. What are these things worth nowadays? 30, 40? Things looks old. It's a wireless in. It's not that old. I also grabbed another two bucks. I grabbed a, uh, it's hard to see. We'll do this when we get home in the light, I guess. Linksys uh, 10100 eight port switch. I might use this at home. My four port switch is full. I'm not gonna win the challenge if I use all this stuff at <laughs> home though, am I? No, you're not. All right, let's go eat. All right, we're home from the uh, Excuse me. the Goodwill trip, the family thrift challenge. Ansley, show us what you got at the thrift store. I got store. a tennis racket. That's a, a racket ball racket. So what do, we, what do we know about it? It's golden. It's gold. It's a leech. Looks pretty vintage. So we're gonna have to look this up and see if it has any value. What else did you get, Ansley? Oh, a shirt. A shirt. Let's see it. What? Oh. <laughs> Air Jordan Flight Club Black and White Long Tee Kids Large Cool How much, How much was it? Two dollars How much was this? I don't They didn't say Like maybe One dollar Two dollars Okay well we spent A total of twenty one dollars So let's figure this out What'd you get Carter? I got This little Tykes truck For Uh Two dollars. Two dollars. A little Pike's truck. All right. And then I also took my chances with this uh, printing cartridge that looks brand new. Hopefully it is, and get like twenty bucks off it. Carter thinks we can get twenty bucks for that. We'll have to see. Is that all you got? Yeah. All right. What did I get? Where's my stuff? I like it. Right here. <laughs> I got this Casio AC adapter, old school uh, electronic calculator adapter. You take a shot, somebody wants one of those, right? No. Yeah, totally somebody wants one of those. <laughs> I got a Linksys uh, 10100 eight port switch. I couldn't find a plug for it, so it's untested. We'll find out. I might keep that for myself. All right, we're back. Had to do a little battery change. We bargain it. So my last item was this Linksys router. It's a wireless gigabit in. I didn't want to focus on that. Uh, I did find a plug for this. It didn't belong to it, so I didn't buy it. But I at least plugged it in, and the lights came on. So we'll uh, find a right adapter and make sure it works. We'll see uh, who's gonna make the most money, or who's gonna make the most money. We're going, wait, we're Me. going to, well, we don't know. We're going, to another, we're going to another store tomorrow. We're going to go tomorrow to spend the rest of the $20 budget? Yeah. So Carter spent eight. No, I spent ten. Nine, ten dollars. Four. Ainsley, we think, spent four. Two on the racket, two on the shirt. Mine was uh, two, two. I think the charger was one. And then I bought some cards. Where's my cards? I bought a set of a Phase 10 deck that's missing it must be in the car or something two which is two bucks so that's two four six seven for me does that add up to 21 what do we say seven ten four yeah, 17 does. 21 so that's what it was all right let's get the list and see what happens what? <clears throat> okay let's take a look for some of these items that we bought to see what they're some of the comps on ebay so let's start with, oh, so I searched for this stuff earlier, and I forgot to hit record. So some of this stuff is in the uh, recent I search items. So here's that Linksys switch. Uh, it's a 10-port switch. This is for sale. Let's see what's sold. Click sold items. 
So here's one for four fifty with four bucks shipping. Here's one for sixteen dollars free shipping. Uh, accepted a best offer was listed at twenty five. Here's a lot of six for forty bucks. Here's one with the charger for nine bucks shipped. So we might toss that up for nine bucks shipped and see what happens. It's worth a shot. Let's look for that router now. So it's a Linksys WRT three hundred and ten N router. Looking at sold items, here's one for five dollars plus eight fifty shipping. That was a that was an auction, only one bid. Uh, here's one for twelve bucks plus ten shipping. That's pretty good. Here's one for eight fifty free shipping. The rest of these are a different model. So maybe same thing if we can get ten. 12 bucks since we don't have any cords for that thing shipped. Still a still profit. Let's see, one other item I bought was that Casio uh, electronic calculator AC adapter. Uh, here's one for nine bucks shipped. Seven, six, five. Uh, these are all a little bit different. Let me put in the one I have is 4.5 volt. 600 milliamp. Let's try that. Uh, here's a four and a half volt one amp for nine bucks. Four, here's here's the exact core. It doesn't look exact, but it's got the exact specs. It's not a cast original Casio. That sold for five bucks for shipping. You know, I don't see the exact item on here. That could be good or bad. I did notice there's some electrical tape on the cord on the one I picked up. I haven't unraveled it yet to see if it's a problem or not. So if that cord's not tore up, maybe I'll get the multimeter out and test it, make sure it works. If it's good, I'll probably throw it up for 10 bucks free shipping, just see what happens. So that's it for my items that I purchased. Now let's check uh, Carter's items. So he picked up this print cartridge. HP print cartridge was the box was there but it was opened and even the plastic wrapper on the cartridge was opened but we peeked at the cartridge and it looked brand new it was nice and clean didn't appear to be used at all uh, so let's see here's two sold for 40 bucks shipped here's one for 50 shipped uh, 27 shipped 25 shipped 20 ships. I think we might try and get 20 out of it. Not all for a return. If somebody gets it and it's a piece of junk, I don't mind returning them. Hopefully they don't take advantage of that. It happens sometimes. Got to deal with the bad along with the good. The other thing Carter got was a Little Tykes uh, farm truck, but it was a it's a Little Tykes handle oops Little Tykes handle hauler farm truck. Uh, this is similar. It's a different color. Nine bucks, eight dollars shipping. Here's one also different color. Fifteen plus sixteen shipping. Is that it? That looks like the same one. Uh, just that one has, that one's complete. See, that's the same unit. This one just has the the corrals and the animals. That sold for twelve twenty seven shipping. So maybe Carter's right. Maybe we can get ten bucks for it. We're gonna try. We'll try ten bucks plus calculated shipping and see if it doesn't sell. We'll lower it. We'll go from there. She picked up that racket. It was a leech. Uh, vintage gold bracket. This sure looks like it. Ten bucks plus ten shipping. Oh, this has that cover on it though. Let's click sold. Let's see what's in the sold items. Nothing. Oh, I spelled vintage wrong. Let's see if that changes anything. Well, here's some rackets that sold. Def different rackets. 
Uh, this is a similar. This one sold for five bucks with ten shipping. Let's take a look at these pictures. It looks similar. No, it's different. Similar but different. Oops, went back one too many. So let's let's look at what's active. Nothing sold that's exact. Here's here's one active. It's twenty one dollars plus twelve shipping. It looks like the exact same thing, but I don't think we're gonna get that much. So maybe we'll throw it up ten shipping and see what happens. The other thing Ainsley got was that Jordan T-shirt. It was in decent shape. It's not mint by any shape, but Jordan stuff is hot. It was a cool shirt. If it doesn't sell, she'll be able to wear it in, in uh, by next fall anyway. I don't see the exact shirt. Let me look at solds. I probably won't find the exact shirt. Some of this stuff sells for crazy money. I don't even understand why people are paying $20 for $20 plus shipping, $22 plus shipping, $40 plus shipping for, for Jordan stuff that's used. Well, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe we'll throw it up for 15, 20 bucks best offer. I'll put free shipping on it and see if we can't turn that thing out. Yeah, that's the comps. So I'll throw up a little sheet to show the averages and show who the winner for the just checking the comps is and we'll go from there. All right, I made a little spreadsheet in Excel to show some estimated values, actual costs. So here's me, Carter, Ansley. You can see uh, I spent seven dollars on my four items total. I valued the router at eight bucks, the switch at ten, power adapter, and the game at seven fifty each. Uh, so for all items here, I decided we'll be we'll list them plus shipping, uh, buyer pay, calculated shipping, just to keep it easier for knowing the value. So that gives me a $7 paid, $33 value would be a 79% margin. That's pretty good. So Carter, we estimated at a $35 sales value. He had uh, 10 bucks total in the cartridge in the truck. So if he can sell at 35 plus shipping, it would be 71% margin. Ansley with the racket and the Jordan T. I valued a racket at $8.50, and I valued the T at $15. Uh, you know, I personally think that's probably high, but looking at some of the stuff that's sold on eBay, who knows? It's worth a shot. So if we can get that for her, that's an 83% margin. That puts her ahead just on the valuation, and she's going to be real happy to hear that. A couple final thoughts wrap this video up. So I was testing that router. I found a plug here I could use to test it. Not going to sell the cable, the plug with it. I need it for some other stuff. Well, as I was setting it up and testing to make sure it worked, I decided that it was the perfect access point for my office. I've been having a lot of issues with the wireless out here. My computer's hardwired, but my phone, my iPad, all that still relies on the wireless. So, here you go. There's the router. It's mounted to the wall. I'm chalking up the, the $2 I paid for it. I may not win the contest now, but my Wi-Fi connection is much better out here now. And I took, I had a power over Ethernet connector out here that was hit and miss. I took it upstairs and put it where there's some dead spots. And it's actually working fantastic up there. So that's a win-win. So that's good stuff. All right, guys. I'm out for this video. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. Uh, we'll see you soon. Make those bucks.